wake up guys lean beef baddie just posted <laughs> uh so i think we actually critiqued her uh, a few months ago i think she follows just like a normie conventional wisdom bro science diet and uh she's looking more and more like harry potter with those glasses but uh let's check out full day of eating and workout yeah so she's like a super popular instagram tiktok fitness influencer good morning it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood today we are going to be eating and working out. Starting off, this is actually my second cup of coffee, but prepared exactly like the first one. Next on the agenda, after. Second cup of coffee already, yeah. Must be super energized and healthy if you need two cups of coffee. I mean, I guess most people drink coffee, but like I've never drank coffee in my life. And, and if you are healthy and if your vitamin stores are good, especially like B vitamins and vitamin C, you shouldn't need to drink coffee. After I have been satisfied with my coffee consumption will be breakfast. Breakfast these days are pretty boring. I always wish I was one of those people that made really aesthetic, attractive meals, but I just simply cannot bring myself Pinterest girly. to care. That's what we call it. So they usually are ugly. And we'll be seeing more of that today. Okay, first meal of the day. Oatmeal, this one is protein oatmeal. I usually get regular oatmeal, but uh, this was in the house. I should do like a bodybuilder parody where I get literal dog shit on a plate and weigh it on a scale. Ouch, so. Because weighing your food is really ups. important. I found whenever I use a microwave, uh, it causes some people distress. If you don't like the microwave, if you're afraid of the waves, you cook it on the stove. Oh, I thought she was about to talk about like uh, how it runs the food, but I guess people are actually figuring out the radiation stuff. Protein powder of choice. Today I have Gorilla Mine cinnamon churro. Yummy. Mm. Bee pollen. I saw a video somewhere talking about all the benefits of bee pollen. I don't remember any of them, Bruh. but. You know how many people there are that probably have like these ridiculous morning routines full of dozens of different herbal supplements and remedies that they've accumulated over the years? Uh, specifically things like bee pollen, royal jelly, the propolis, all that type of stuff. Th there's not really much nutritional or health benefit maybe you can like stimulate your immune system to to local allergies in some circumstances but it's really not necessary i hope i'm getting them <laughs> and honey pro life hack if you have allergies invest in some local honey that should help with your allergies or so i hear i don't have allergies i also don't have local honey Last thing I've been doing Genius recently, uh, collagen peptides makes for a tasty beverage. So you see how it's white, like the collagen that we have on organ supplements, natural collagen, it's brown. So this stuff is bleached and deodorized and heavily processed. Like you kind of want to avoid stuff like that, especially in, in large volumes. And potential reaping of other benefits. <laughs> I do it for the tasty beverage aspect, though. Oh. First meal of the day! Yeah! So it's not that bad compared to, like, a standard American dieter, I guess, because you're having oats, whey protein, but because it's not organic, because, you know, it's a protein powder, there's a lot of chemicals, whether it's the glyphosate sprayed on the oats, the flavorings and preservatives added in the protein powder, especially that collagen drink so if she just went organic and natural uh for for these foods yeah it would taste a lot different and she'd have to put like some organic sugar and maybe more honey and vanilla in it but it'd be an actual healthy meal what in tarnation is that what is that <gasps> Oh my god! 
Oh my god. Nani? It looks like a bug leg. I think it might be a bee. <laughs> See that? I mean, I don't know how she picked that out. Like all the nonsense people put in their oats and how the oats look and how the bee pond looks like. Looks like a bee leg. Oh my gosh. Extra yeah, protein, extra vitamins. bug components in those bee products. Consider that a win. They actually make it taste better. The pollen definitely has a flavor. I don't think it's a good one. Ooh. The rest of it is good though. So next I'm just gonna finish this. Breakfast is also usually my pre-workout meal. I know a lot of people like to work out later in the day because then you have more food in your system and it's like technically, you know, more energy. I don't really like that. <laughs> I've gotten into the flow of not doing that. I used to work out like after work though, and I liked that, but also I would pretty much just like eat lunch and then work out four hours later and like maybe have a bag of candy. I don't do that anymore. I just work out after breakfast. I mean, when these people are young and they still have energy, you know, they can get away with a lot of stuff and eating stuff like candy, but yeah, I, the fact that she needs that much coffee to function and she's still young, you know, as an indicator that she should probably get some things in check. Okay, see you there. Yeah, buddy. Okay, we made it. We're at the gym. I'm going to prepare my pre-workout that I will drink while warming up. And a little bit tasty treat. Uh, like, you're drinking two cups of coffee, eat breakfast, go to the gym, and you need a pre-workout for more energy. At best, these pre-workouts are just damaging your kidneys and liver, particularly your kidneys because they're, they're high in oxalates, uh, which is what's needed uh, in the, the nitric oxide to, to increase that in your blood. During the workout, even though you should have it like 30 minutes before, I mostly just take it for the creatine, which doesn't really matter what time you take it. So whatever, grill mine, so nitric, no stim. That's how I like it, non-stimulated. Two, oh my gosh, two scoops. And also liquid glycerol, no grainy texture because it's liquid. Glycerol, is that Don't drink it by itself though, I tried to do that. Now, we have Flextrose on, uh, on organsupplements.com, which is glucose, but glycerol. She must have meant to say, she must have meant to say glucose. At once, and it is so much thicker than I thought it was gonna be. She needs some sun, dude. Muy bien, listos. Okay, warm up. Milk. So we're gonna skip the workout. All right, workout complete. Now I will be enjoying two rice cakes. Because I figured I'd be a little, a little bit in the need. I don't know whoever invented rice cakes, but like, <laughs> they taste like crap and they're not that good for you. I mean, rice in general is high in arsenic. If it's a brown rice cake, it's super high in arsenic. If it's not organic, you don't want to eat it. And they usually add a bunch of other ingredients that make them not so good for you. Of a snack. Here we go. I guess from a standard American diet perspective, you could choose worse foods. Delicious. But yeah, they're gross. Like eat, eat something normal. Next is probably gonna be lunch, unless I decide to have another snack somewhere along the way. And here we are, home once again, getting ready for one of my favorite little meals. Can tuna. <sighs> Step worse. one, can tuna. It just gets Step worse. two, uncan the tuna. Yeah, th this is this is the type of girl you can marry because she, she, you've seen she's just been eating disgusting food all day. So you know she can put up with nonsense. Like nothing she's eating tastes good, although she could arguably make it taste good if she wanted to and made better food choices. 
Condiment time. I like mayonnaise, mustard, relish, classic. Tuna setup. I mean, this seems like normie stands in American diet food. I mean, tuna is really oh, high in touch of garlic salt. heavy metals and mercury and stuff you don't want to be eating. The can lining. Those condiments aren't good either. Vegetable delicious. seed oils, chemicals, What flavors. better to accompany our delicious tuna meal other than tortilla chips? So, non-organic grains and vegetable seed oils, pretty inflammatory. And the piece of resistance. A carrot. Yeah, like the beta carotene is going to help. Even if she just went organic and higher quality with all this stuff, it'd be a whole lot healthier. You could find better oh, alternatives. Man. Every single time I eat tuna, I think about the possibility of mercury not poisoning. Just mercury. Not because I eat that much tuna, but because when I was in fifth grade, my teacher told us all Arsenic. a story about how she ate tuna every single day for lunch. And then after a while, she got mercury poisoning and thought she was dying. <clears throat> I think about that now every time I eat tuna. If you've ever gotten mercury poisoning, please comment below. Tell me about your experience, as I do not believe I have experienced it myself, but I may have. Yeah, when you get a hair mineral analysis, they check your toxic metal levels as well, like arsenic, mercury, cadmium, lead, all that stuff. Sponsored by Big Carrot. These kind of carrots are the best. Even better than this, the 50 pound bags of carrots you can get from like animal feed stores. Best carrots in the world. Oh my gosh. Something about the dirt animal on feed? those carrots oh, just makes them strong. taste immaculate. All right, we're back. It's time to make beef. Let's go. I mean, at least we got some beef. We'll Here have I have rice allow from the cookie spray. two days ago. Um, when I ordered Thai food, I'm just gonna heat that up, but pro hack ice cube in there. Keeps it Sounds from getting really dry. Gross. Microwave. That's disgusting. Dude, dude. <laughs> Bro. Lovely. Disgusting. Beef. At least it's beef and rice. At least it's an acceptable meal. You need way more Assorted rice. Assorted steamed vegetables. Probably just like frozen bag vegetables. Cauliflower would be good, but the other stuff is not necessary. Lastly, some milk. It was going okay. I mean, I don't think that was full fat milk, but even so, like, you want you want grass fed organic milk if you're drinking dairy products. Even though this is non fat milk, which is extremely <sighs> mediocre. Every once in a while, you just really need a a glass of milk. Yeah, and she probably has some like macronutrient stuff where she's trying to reduce her fat intake. Now, this meal, you know, if you had a glass of organic grass-fed milk, grass-fed beef, organic white rice made with filtered water, cauliflower on the side, very, very healthy meal. That's something I would have myself. Only my lactose tolerant people will get that. Okay, I'm back. It's a few hours later. I'm gonna have some ice cream. Uh, this one was on sale. It was only like three bucks. So how could you not? Also, tiny story time. I was expecting something like this because she restricts herself all day, low fat intake, not a lot of quality nutrition, and then you go eat a tub of ice cream. 
if you're allowing yourself to have the fat and the sugar and all that stuff in the meal, then why not incorporate it into you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner in a healthy way, which is what ends up happening when you go high quality organic across the board and don't worry about macronutrients. Uh, I'm not going to really complain too much about haagen -Dazs. Usually ice cream is, uh, is like milk, cream, sugar, eggs, maybe some vanilla. So most of the time, like ice cream made with natural ingredients isn't that bad. And now she's eating some type of whipped, whipped topping. I mean, that Miracle Whip stuff is really bad for you. I think they do use like vegetable shortening and, and flavorings and stuff in there. I don't think it's dairy based. So the ice cream was one thing. That's like a whole different story. That's even, that's actually pretty bad. Cool whip. I just know someone in the comments is going to be like, Patty, that's made with oil. I yeah, know. Yeah, she said it herself. I know what it's made from. It does taste good though. Just a tasty little treat. It does taste good. Tasty little oil treat on occasion. When we're fully up and running, I'll, I'll make you guys a healthy Miracle Whip or something. So that seems to be it. I'm guessing she's putting a disclaimer at the end. It's kind of weird that like, she's self-aware in a way because I'm guessing what she did was like showed people what she was eating and then all like the diet critiquers kind of went in there and corrected her on what she should be having. Uh, you know, cause ever, ever since I started YouTube and I made like animal nutrition and healthy foods possible. And, and like my, I, I think my YouTube channel was really the first one that started talking about food quality in that way. Now it seems like everyone knows about it and critiques everyone about it. So whatever, most people don't seem to care enough because, you know, when these people talk about this stuff, they don't really illustrate it in a way or, or put it in layman's terms or get people to really understand why it's important. Uh, but that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you for joining. If you do want to support me and high quality, affordable foods and, and all my businesses and stuff, you can check out frank com. Any day of eatings, any other ones you guys would like me to critique, just let me know down in the comments below. But as usual, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment, subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.